Hi, cat. <laughs> Come and get some mango, baby. Self-awareness is a superpower. My name is Kathy LaDonna. Welcome to Soul and Vibration. I hope the free thinkers are doing well. And if you're not doing well, I'm happy to remind you that you are the most powerful person that you know. You are the most powerful person that you know because only you can create your reality. Hey guys, today is Monday, Moon Day, October 30th, and the energies in the day adds up to the number 11. If today is your birthday, happy birthday. Today is also my solar return, so happy solar return to me. So when it comes to the spirit animal, we are rocking with the gazelle energy and with the gazelle energy showing up as a spirit animal the gazelle energy is bringing and the gazelle is been coming out a lot lately and i say that every time it's been coming out lately but i feel like that's because it's important for us to surrender surrender is really needed right now and when i think of the gazelle energy i think about how the gazelle is prey to the lion and I think about how, you know, some of us feel so small in the world when it comes to like so many other things that feel so bigger than us. And it's like at any moment, anything can happen. And, you know, we feel so consumed by so many different things. But the gazelle energy brings me to surrendering and just trust. It's like it's bringing me to that scripture from the Bible where it's like, be still and know that I am God in the sense that you don't have to be religious or anything like that. But it's like whatever it is that you believe in whatever you find, you know, gives you power, empowers you in whatever way. It's like being still and just know that the universe is the universe. Being still and know that everything is written. Being still and know that everything is always working for your greatest good, regardless of how it may seem. So the gazelle energy brings me to surrendering. The gazelle energy brings me to being still. When it comes to the energies in the day, to me today seems like a busy body ass day if you ask me. And I say a busy body ass day if you ask me because the day is the 30th. The number three is very childlike, impulsive energy. The number three can also be a very sarcastic, immature, childlike playful, creative, imaginative energy, but the energies in the day adds up to the number 11. And the number 11 energy to me is like a very turbulent energy, whether it's turbulent for good reasons, whether, you know, we're excited about something, we're super excited, or whether we're frustrated and annoyed by something, we are super annoyed and frustrated. It brings me to one time when me and my assistant was in the salon and my assistant was blow drying uh, my client's hair and my client is very tender head and sensitive and she has a lot of thick hair and it's like while her hair was getting blow dried it's like you can tell that she i don't know it felt like she built up all this energy within her and blew out the socket like maybe it was a coincidence but i remember my assistant looking at me and looking super freaked out like what the hell and she even said did you see what happened where it's like to me the number 11 energy is that and like i was saying in yesterday's message it's like we're stepping into a portal since the day's been adding up to the number 11 and also to we're in eclipse season like we're stepping into a portal a portal season the kind of portal that can spark the match where it's like say you always wanted to uh spark the match and create fire and what you do with fire is up to you. Like fire is not good or bad, but it's what you do with fire. So it's like there's this energy that's present and it's whatever, whoever taps into the energy, choose to do with the energy, but the energy itself is not bad. But like I said, with the energies in today, it's just a whole lot of like, it's a whole lot of energy, especially with the moon also in Gemini. The moon, our inner world is in a place where we're curious. 
we're curious about a lot of things just like the number three energy is super curious but then that number 11 energy you know there's so many ideas to the point that is like idea overload and then curiosity and idea overload it just feels like a lot and with the gazelle energy i'm getting to just be still with the gazelle energy i'm getting like the image that I, that's coming to mind is like a tornado is happening and a person is seeing everything fall apart or flying around them but they're in a safe space uh some safe room that doesn't have any windows that's within the space and they're within that say a closet or whatever room that's within the structure that has no outside walls and they're there and they're sitting there and they're just breathing and they've come to the acceptance that whatever happens happens but at the same time they've done everything they can and they're just being still and they're watching everything around them happen and they're still but they've accept the fact that whatever happens happens like that's what i'm getting with the gazelle energy it's like surrendering accepting the reality that it is what it is but be still because there's so much happening today where I feel like with the energies in today, it could go either way in the sense like it could be one of those days where it's like, it's like so exciting where it's like when I think of the energies in today, I think of like someone getting invited to a party and it's like the party is so much fun. There's so much excitement. Like it's so fun and exciting to the point where you get home and you can still hear the music beating in your ear and you can't even sleep because your adrenaline is so high because the party was so great. Like that's one aspect of the energies in the day. Or to me, there's another aspect of it where it's like, you know, someone being super sensitive, someone says the wrong thing or gives the wrong look. And before you know it, it's like, it's like chaos going back and forth. And it's like, damn, after it's all said and done, you know, somebody sitting back and like, damn, what if I just, didn't say anything what if I just like kept my mouth shut or what if I had just stayed home like it's that kind of vibe with the gazelle energy I'm just getting be still like be still when it comes to the energies today and with the moon and the moon is the ruler of the day and it is in Gemini and with the moon being the ruler of the day that explains Mondays Mondays are often very sensitive and emotional days because it's ruled by the moon. So to me, Monday is like your full moon day in the sense that normally, you know, we can hide everything and anything. But on a Monday, you cannot hide most emotional things from yourself. Like whatever it is you feel deeply about a certain thing, you can't hide it from yourself on a Monday because things just feel so much more intense. It's so much more in your face. It's like the full moon energy, like I mentioned, is like what's normally hidden is exposed on a Monday as you feel it deeply. And some people will say, oh, it's because, you know, we go back to work. No, it's not. You know, it's not just because you go back to work. You could be off on Mondays. And, you know, if you pay attention, you're going to feel your feelings, even if you don't want to more than normal on a Monday. With the moon in Gemini, instead of us feeling our feelings, I could see us going, doing everything else but accepting and feeling our feelings. Because the moon is in a place where we want to, we want to communicate, we want to, we, we, we want to communicate, we want to connect with others, we want to be social. Maybe some gossiping might even be a thing because the number three deals with communication. The number three reminds me of Gemini energy in the sense that whenever we find ourselves communicating quickly and not getting too deep on anything like, you know, anything too deep, meaning that there's not a lot of substance and that's okay. That's just what's needed for the moment. I think of it like going to the restaurant and just wanting appetizers because you want variety. You want to get full, but you want variety. So instead of committing to a whole meal, you commit to a bunch of appetizers. And I feel like the number three and Gemini energy brings me to that, to the point that, you know, we can find ourselves gossiping because, you know, we're talking about this and we're talking about that. And, you know, there's no direction, there's no focus, there's no intention. So when it comes to say today, I feel like, you know, some of us could find ourselves really scattering our energy today. So you want to be conscious about your energy today because it's easy to scatter your energy today. But if you have the chance or you have, you know, if you have the chance to, to me today is good to spend it doing something creative. Even though when I look at the moon in Gemini, it's squaring Saturn and Pisces. So when it comes to say doing creative, doing something creative, anything that is structured, like we're, we can find ourselves avoiding structure when it comes to creating and doing anything like that. But at the same time, um, 
the moon is a part of the grand earth trine which is between venus and virgo pluto and capricorn so you know the moon is in a position where it's like yes we're curious about everything and anything but our curiosity might stem from us trying to create stability security for ourselves but with the gazelle energy coming out again just be still because today feels like the kind of day where a person's curiosity like today brings me to like aries energy where it's like you could jump in the swimming pool and then realize there is no water in it so easily jump into something because there was this thought or inspiration and also to what i'm getting when it comes to this the energies in the day it will kind of remind me of neptune or pisces energy where just one thought can one thought could be so exciting to us that we could build on this thought build a whole reality a whole nation around the thought only for something to come and bust that bubble because that thought or that projection isn't in alignment with what is to the to the point that we find ourselves feeling disappointed and robbed because others aren't participating in this reality or whatnot we have going we have the four of pentacles showing up when it comes to the tarot and when it comes to the four of pentacles in the tarot as a tarot in the upright position as you can see this person is hoarding they are holding on to every single cent to me this kind of bring me to like poverish mindset like a, a, a like a fear when it comes to money a, 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 yeah fear when it comes to money not willing to give up anything and in the reversal position um this tying in with the gazelle energy brings me to say surrendering surrendering when it comes to your financial situation just surrendering and letting go surrendering when it comes to you know what you have where you are financially i remember for myself personally like i was say yesterday or the day before i was trading and i saw my setup and i saw my setup clearly and i hesitate to get into it and then price went exactly to the area that i estimated that it would go to based on my technical analysis and reading the charts and price went exactly to that area and then shoot up to the area that i would exit at and i was just so disappointed because it happened so much like i'll record myself trading and i've posted three videos and in two videos the same thing happened or in two videos I'm showing myself like, you know, I, 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 my bias is on point, did the technical analysis and priced it exactly it, but it left without me. And I sat down and I asked the universe, please show me why this keeps happening to me. Is it because like there's some kind of a block with me or whatever, because it, it happens all the time. I'm on point like a sniper. I call myself sniper cat when I'm on the charts because it's like I'll see it and it'll do it. But the execution be a mess. And it came to me yesterday while I was laying on the couch in silence. Like, no, your issue is you want something for nothing. You want to make sure you can risk nothing almost in order to get something because in order to be successful like your risk to reward ratio is important where what you're risking you need your risk your reward needs to be two times or more your risk in order to be successful to the point where your win rate doesn't even have to be high but you could still be profitable because you take high probability setups and your risk to reward is higher and it clicked to me on the couch. It's like, I'm afraid to risk anything. Like I'm a hoarder when it comes to, you know, money. It's like, I want to hold on like this person here. Like I want to hold on. I don't want to spend anything, you know, very cheap with myself, only generous when it comes to my nieces, nephews and family members and, you know, certain friends. But when it comes to me, it's like, oh, it's not necessary. It's not important. And it clicked to me on the couch, like that's your issue. If you look at your past recordings, it always happens because you're waiting for it to come to a certain spot. So you could risk almost nothing, hoping to get everything. And today, you know, that was clear with me yesterday. I held on to it today. I got up and I looked at the chart. I didn't see anything with spy. I saw my setup in Tesla, 
I said, okay, this is where it'll go. And, and, and like in my meditation yesterday, you know, it was like, be very aggressive. Like once you see your setup, get in aggressive and get out aggressive, whether you're getting out aggressively because you're wrong, you're getting out aggressively because it's hit your target, but look for your setup and get in aggressive, get out aggressive. And this ain't even a trading channel, but y'all get y'all following me or whatever. But anyways, today I got up, went for my walk, came in, saw a setup on Tesla. The minute price got to my area, I jumped in and it went down a little bit and then shoot up to target. And I jumped in and I'm like, see spirit, I'm listening, I'm listening. I didn't even look for another trade. I just jumped in the shower and got ready and recorded this video. So yes, that is my testimony about this energy right here and realizing that we have to give something to get something opposed to this guy right here, which is me when it comes to the markets, wanting everything for absolutely nothing and instead it costing me because when I should get in, I don't. And then after FOMO sets in and then by the time I get in, it doesn't go my way. And if it does go my way, it takes all day opposed to if I had jumped in the first situation like this morning with Tesla in less than five minutes, I hit target and you know, I, I was on to doing what I got to do. So, so with the gazelle energy and this in the reversal position is bringing me to surrendering be surrendering, being still, and just being open for things to come in and out, being open, being vulnerable, being vulnerable and allowing energy to flow in and out. It's just like, for me, I, I saw, um, it's like, I saw things in a different light when say, you know, like I love the view outside and I love to look outside and look into nature. But I realized, okay, for me to look outside and look into nature, I need to open up my blinds so wide that other people could see in just as much as I'm seeing out. And I had to come to the realization like, okay, you know, I have to allow them to see in so I could get what I want. And it, it brings me to that with everything. It's like, you know, earlier with the trade is like, I'm willing to lose whatever I need to lose so I could get what I want. And it's so worked out that I got what I want. But yeah, like, you know, being vulnerable, being open, but more than anything, surrendering is super important when it comes to the energies in today, surrendering and just accepting what is and instead of wanting things to be something else, like this is just what it is. How can I make the most of what it is right now and not force myself to want it to be anything other than what it is right now? I like how the moon is a part of is a part of a trine between Neptune and Pisces and Pluto and Capricorn. So that does, even though the moon is in a place where we're curious about everything, anything and nothing, it also brings a, a level of optimism to the inner world, daydreaming and a dream is a blueprint to reality and even escapism to the inner world. So, you know, those are some things that I love about like, you know, what's happening with the inner world, the inner conversation, today, which is the moon energy. And like I said, the day adds up to the number 11. And I feel like, you know, with us being in the 11th season with the days adding up to the number 11, I feel like, you know, we're in a portal season. And like I said, that spark to light a match is there and it's the match is not the problem. The spark is not the problem, but it's what we do with the energy and how we line ourselves up to access this energy is what it comes down to. Like it brings me to say money, how some people say money is the root, root of all evil, but there's nothing evil about money. It's, it's someone's love for money and what they will do for it, what they'll do to keep it, what they'll do to protect it. Like that's where that, you know, that's where that negativity comes in. So to me, it's like everything is just energy, but it all comes down to our obsession with that energy is is the issue but you guys such a pleasure sharing this message with you as usual if you'd like to book a natal chart or an coaching session with me or check out my exclusive weekly contents only available on patreon and a lot more the link for patreon and to book with me are both in the description box below but before you go anywhere please let me know you're here with me 
by dropping me a red and an orange heart in the comment box below. I would love to hear from you and look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Love yourself as if your life depended on it because it does. Take care of yourself and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.